Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hot Guy, and I am back with Ultimate Fishing Simulator, the original, and we are still here in the Amazon, and in this episode we are going to be moving on to spawn points 9 and 10, I believe. We already covered all of them up to 8. I've already gone in and took a quick look at these areas, and I will tell you, when I came in here, I came in the morning, I didn't see a lot of big fish. I saw the, uh, what they call the Yapapas, which are, I guess, roughly bream-sized fish. And there were some Piaras, but they were fairly small. And that was really about all I could find. Oh, uh, wait a minute, I did, I'm sorry, I did see small silver ar arowanas, very small silver arowanas. But nothing else other than that, I still haven't seen an electric eel yet. I'm expecting those to be out in maybe these deeper spawn points because I think that's where I remember seeing them in the past. But I did fast forward this to later in the day just to see what might happen. I th let's see, it's 16.23. It's going to make it 4 o'clock. It really looks dark to me, though. But then it could be the weather. <laughs> we got some seriously rainy weather going on here. And that could make a big difference. But I'm kind of hoping maybe doing this in the, later in the day I might see some different species pop in. Yeah, looks like we're getting a little bit more numbers here. Yeah, there was nothing here in the morning. So that might have been worth my while. Now, I will tell you, I've got the smallest hook on here possible. And the fish that I've been seeing have been actually pretty darn small so we may have to test to see what they're gonna go for because I really don't know uh, right now I have a dragonfly on here if we don't get any reaction to that I uh, will switch it over but we do know this much the small hooks seem to fare better and I might go ahead and throw some bottom rods out there but I will tell you the small hooks have been doing better a uh, number four or less. And number four here was working fine, so I just need to wait a little longer. Of course, I could depend on my bait. My bait may not be right. Oh, looks like I've got me an Oscar. Alright, so we do have a few species here. I am glad of that. I was a little concerned there for a while that I wasn't going to get many species to pop in. I had one of these guys as a pet. I actually called him after his species. I called him Oscar. Seemed fitting. He's pretty daggone tiny. About the size of the one I had in my tank, honestly. Now, if I could go for the Apapas, I could actually get a bigger hook, but... It'll yeah, quickly tell me. That's the only thing about these. This hook indicator. Yep, it is another. Another Oscar. I think this fellow's a little bit bigger. He looks bigger. Yeah, he's a pound. He's a full pound. Oh, they're pretty fish, aren't they? Tiger Oscars. Yeah, let's go down a little bit. Last time I saw the Apapas down here. You can move around quite a bit. In fact, I think you can actually 
m most places make it to the other spawn points by walking. The spawn points just make it a little bit quicker travel time. Alright, let's see if we can see anything out here. Ah, yeah, here we go. I think we got some Apapas here, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and change our hook size. I am going... It's going to be this one, because this little... I think, wait a minute. Is it this? Uh, here it is. Okay. See, it says maximum bait amount. Now, what I do on these... Let me go ahead and equip it. I go ahead and I place three different baits that I know that the, the Apapas will go for, and some of the other species may go for as well. Trying to see if I have any worms. Yeah, I don't need dragonflies, but see, that way I've got three different things for them to choose from, and it's seriously going to attract it a lot better. These guys are going to be bigger than the, the Oscars came. Shouldn't have to wait too long to get a reaction. One of my viewers informed me that the way that hook indicator works... God, really? Let me take one more try over here. And if it still says that, then I'll go ahead and relent and go down to a 12. <laughs> it just seems awful small. Plus, you're going to catch a smaller version of it anyway. I must have got lucky when I caught that larger one. Now he, Okay, that says the hook size is proper, so that's good. The ones here are a little bit bigger, so that's... And here he comes. That's an Apapa. <laughs> really? Premature. Premature. And if it says it's too small, then nope, it's, we're still good. Let him take it a little bit more than I did last time. But they do seem to go for the wax worms pretty readily. Here he comes again. He looks bigger. There we go. We got him. Yeah, he looks pretty good size, actually. Whoa. In fact, he looks more than decent size. I think he might be bigger than the one I caught off screen. We'll soon find out. Yeah, I think I might equip my bottom rods with little hooks. No, no, he's not bigger, but that's what they look like, guys. Kind of yellowish fish. Roughly about bream size, maybe a little bigger. Yeah, I think what I might do is I might go ahead and set up my rod pod with my bottom rods, but I'm going to put small hooks on all of them. So let's set this up. Yeah, number eight is just not going to cut it. I think I'm going to set it up with wax worms. But this one, I'm going to leave a small cut bait only because there could be some small catfish in here. If it doesn't do anything, then I'll switch over to dragonflies. But let me see. It looks like. Yeah, the Apapa. Let's see. The Apapa will go for that. What goes for the small cut bait here? The Kuma Kuma, the Piranha, 
and the red-tailed catfish and the tiger sorbim. All of those are present here, so it's worth a try anyway. So let's go ahead, put a rod pot out, shoot. I don't know why I keep hitting that. Let's see. All right, let's throw this out. First of all, let's see where the fish are. All right, there's some over there, some over there. I'm going to try this one over there because I think there might be something just out of my vision range that might be hanging around out there. And then I'm going to get this fourth one out. See right now it says it's proper so we're good to go. It always is the first one we throw out so a lot of times it's good to test it with our float rod ahead of time. That way we know we're golden. Now this is an 8. The others are 12s. So we already know those are good. And we could get a reaction on the bottom rods too. So yep, and we did. And it is this one. I think we got us another Apapa. Here we go. This one's just under two pounds. There we go. There's another Apapa. And we got him. Yeah, he's teeny. No wonder that wasn't going off for those other size hooks. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and go to the other spot because that's really about all I have seen here. Even when I was off screen, I didn't see anything different. And yeah, nothing here looks very big. And that's been the case. Alright, let's go ahead and grab these. And let's go on to the next spawn site here. All right, we're going to 10, which is much, much further downstream. Now here we actually have a boat that we can use. But before I go out there, I am going to take a look around, see if I see any fish close by. Ooh, yes, yes. Oh, we got all kinds of stuff out there. What the heck are those? Well, let's go ahead back to our float rod first. Let's see if we can get the attention of these guys. I'm going to, again, go back to my bigger hook. And I'm going to go ahead and equip it with three baits. The worst that can happen, it'll tell me that the hook's too big. I'm not going to put any of my bottom rods out yet. Because I want to kind of, as, as they say, test the waters and see just what's over here. And these guys are not far out there, so I might even get a reaction before the hunter vision quits. Now, it should tell me pretty soon. I like the fact that it zooms in a little bit on your bait once you get it in the water. Come on, say it's proper, say it's proper. Damn. Okay, these these fish aren't big enough. Now, this is where I ran into the so silver arowanas. I wanted to get tongue twisted there for a second. Arowana. 
<laughs> Everyone uh, Silver Arrow Wana. Well There we go. Now that's a silver arowana. Very small one too. I mean he is tiny tiny, see what I'm talking about? One pound. These can turn into monsters. I cannot get over the fact that these are so small. I've seen them in tanks and these they were stinking monsters. And this little bitty fish that weighs a pound. Seriously a baby. But there's plenty of them here. You can't tell me that that's not... I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Where is that one that just swam by? He is... He was good size. That is not a small fish. Problem is getting his attention. And if he's out of range, this is going to come back as not being proper. Ooh, okay, he is in range. So this is a, this is a number six, so I've upped it qu quite a bit. There he goes. Ah, shoot. I clicked it too soon. Okay, let's get this thing within range of that big one I see. Here we go. Ah, God bless it. I think I might go over here to the boat. Let me see here. This can take us somewhere where we got more fish. Oh yeah, check that out. Oh, nice. Definitely going to them is better. <laughs> Let's see what the heck that says. I can't imagine it saying it's not proper now. And if it does, we'll go to the 12. I don't think we can do a, any bottom runs out here, though. It is proper, so we're good. Aha! There's a decent size of Papa. Come on, take it. And we got him. We got this fella, and he's much bigger than what we caught at that other spawn point. He is much bigger. There you go. Come on, fellas. There we go. Go ahead and take it. You know you want it. Alright. Yes, he is a decent sized one. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, ho, 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 ho. new record, guys. Now we're talking 9.68 pounds. That is the biggest, biggest one I've caught. And he will go in the trophy room as a representative of his kind. $68. Patience. Patience Grasshopper. Let's see. Yeah, that one was a good size of Papa. Biggest I've seen yet. And there's some more that are good size right here. I swear to God, they're, they're everywhere. Let's see if we can't get another one. Maybe we can break that record real quick here. They're going for the wax runs pretty regularly. But they do go for dragonflies too. So if you're going to fish over here, my suggestion... Yep. My suggestion is to bring your rod pod and kind of vary your hook sizes a little bit. If you can find, if it, if you see some big ones like that, I wouldn't go over four. I don't think they come that big. All right, guys, I have been trying to get get these fish to bite that are right here for a while and they just are not touching it. Says the hook size is proper but I'm not sure that these fish are interested in the bait that I have. I have tried several different types. I've mixed them up. Ah, finally. They are a papa's. Just very particular a papa's, apparently. I thought I saw whiskers on some of them, but I don't know. This guy is really big for an Apapa, though. Yeah, that seems to be the primary thing that's over here for the most part. I might try going down a little bit further or just continue on the spawn points in the next episode and see what's here. Yeah, just big Apapas. There, we can see his scales a little bit better. Nice fish. Very nice fish. Very nice fish. Very big fish. I'll be honest, these boats are kind of hard to guide. I think we want to go this way. If we want to go downstream. Okay, we may have some bigger fish here. Something's out there that's good size. I don't know what they are, or if they're just more of the same. They look like more of the same, except that one over there is definitely silver arowana. He kind of sticks out. I'm afraid that maybe the time is giving us a problem. Yeah, it's technically considered to be... Let's take it to early morning. Now let's see what the fish, how the fish react.
and see if if it's early morning and the sun shining, maybe they'll bite a little differently. It's still raining though. Aha, there we go. Finally. There's a lot of these guys around, I tell you. I did see one decent sized silver arowana, but he wasn't too interested in it. I don't know what the whether I just didn't get close enough or what the deal was, but he he was swimming rather fast. This guy actually took it out a little ways, so he's got a little heft to him. Yep, 8.81 pounds. It's a decent one. Well, alright. Well, I guess that's... There he is. There's that little son of a gun. Come on. Come back here. Come back here. God, I'd love to catch him. Ah, I got him anyway. <laughs> Oh wow, he is he's running with it. Check him out. Holy crap. He's not the silver, but he's a frisky guy. Come on. Let's see how big he thinks he is. Yeah, these guys definitely bite much better in the morning. Much better in the morning. I'm just taking a look to see if I can see that fellow around here, but yeah. I wanted to catch him, but he's gone again. Alright, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator, hopefully in better weather. I think next time we'll be moving on to the next spawn points. Maybe then we'll get to see some red-tailed catfish. I haven't run into them yet, or eels, but we may have to find them with the boats. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.